Hi right, guys, a different video this time round. Are we um I wasn't sure if to do this or not really to be honest with you. Not on the sort of like public YouTube. I wasn't sure if to keep it private or not, but I thought um I'll make it public in case there's anyone else out there um who might be able to sort of uh, relate to it or whatever. Um it's about my son, uh Samuel. He's got something called Corman syndrome. Now I'm gonna look at the letter because I can't remember exact uh, the thing it's called. It's Corman syndrome, excuse me not looking at you with hypergonotropic hypergonadism and anosmia. And that is a big mouthful. I'll put that on the screen, which hopefully appear now. Um, like I said, this video's really uh, more off our record, but if I used to watch my videos about camping, cycling, and everything else, don't feel you've got to sit through this. If you want to, that's great. I'd love to you for you to see it. But at the same time, it might be sort of, totally not your interest at all. So honestly, don't feel you've got to watch it. Um, again, it's not about production. I've got a microphone for my videos now here. Normally I'd hide this, but this is not about a video production. It is about just getting this on record for us so that um, we have some kind of a record of how our son's progress because he started treatment only yesterday. So we went up to Roland Hospital and um, it's a little snippet here of how it went. So I'll just show you this bit now. Well guys, up to Royal London today in, uh, in Whitechapel, Royal London Hospital in Whitechapel um, to start Sam's treatment. We're up into the car park now, um, I've just bought my ticket and I've put the uh, ticket in the car and off we go. Right, in Whitechapel now, on the way to Royal London Hospital and uh, it's day one for Sam as far as this goes. So um, yeah, we're on the way there now. Right guys, we just left Royal Island Hospital, We've got a bag of medicine, just to learn how to do an injection into Sam, which um, is quite straightforward but nerve wracking unless for me, but went okay, and we're about to go get the train now and get home. So that was, that. That was our visit um, on money just gone to uh, the hospital. Um, unfortunately, Sam is really funny about me putting his uh, photos or too much video of him on YouTube, even taking photos, he's really funny about it. He's actually he's got ASD as well in the mix just to make things a bit more complicated. But yeah, so I'd like to have done a little growth thing to see how he gets on between now and sort of, you know, sort of six months. Um, there's, there's someone else we follow on YouTube who uh, has done so much in six months of his life. He's actually grown what would have happened, would have normally taken two years. So um, it's quite, if successful, which fingers crossed it will be, it is quite almost extreme really. Um, we come back home from hospital with um, all the stuff to give the injections. Like I said, when I was there, I gave the injection yesterday under the guidance of the nurse, and he has his injection three times a week. Caroline, my wife, will do his injection tomorrow, and hopefully, this is the, the long-term goal, that he'll learn to do it himself. Now, if he's not, he's, I mean, he's, he's only 12, so if he's not 100% about that, well, we'll just do it. Um, it. It's similar, I think, I'm not medical, to the same kind of idea you get with if, if you're diabetic, I guess the same sort of process of injecting yourself. I've never really taken it in, so I don't know. But it's, it, they come in like a pen, um, which is loaded up with, with the stuff, which is a follicle stimulating hormone, FSH. And that is supposed, I've got loads of notes because it's, it's all kind of words that I've really struggled to remember. Um, it, this is like a hormone to stimulate the pituitary gland, which encourages the development. So in here, is the stuff and then what we have to do is you've got a box of needles um, and what we do is you, you sort of screw the needle onto there and then that goes in his belly and his leg give him the injection and then take the needle off with like the cap and in in, in the sharp spin so it's a bit like a hospital in a house at the moment sharp spin needles all that sort of stuff so it's quite daunting for me to be honest because I've never done anything like this before but obviously you have to do it don't you so that's the medi medicine side of stuff or the treatment which is like I said before FSH follicle stimulating hormone which is to kick start the pituitary gland so hopefully that will get him growing because at the moment as of the 10th of November the last time he's officially measured he was I'm looking at my bit of paper here 137.3 centimeters 137 centimeters just over and 40.1 kilograms um, is 13 next year so 
averages it's well below even taking my height into account because i'm only five i don't make five eight i'm at five seven and a half even though i'm quite small myself his stature and height is incredibly small so that's what this is all about to sort of get, get him growing developing normally like sort of typical 13 year old boys would do and the other side of it is is the anosmia which is no sense of smell i think he's got this this corman syndrome i think he's got quite a severe end of it because sometimes it's a uh, a lowered sense of smell. We've got no sense of smell at all. We can't smell. So I don't think that will ever change. Um, the way I'm understanding it, that that's the way it is. He he, he lives with that, and that, that's all there is to it with that one. But hopefully with this treatment, it kickstart everything else, and um, we'll see some results. So I'll probably will sort of do a little diary of this. Um, if Sam will let me, I'll get a bit of him his height and uh, growth there too. So I think I'll leave it there because it'll become an endless waffle about nothing. I think I've covered everything that we sort of want to record for ourselves and perhaps share with other people. So thank you for watching. You take care and I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers guys. Thank you.